Hi, it's Dr. Nadia of the Doyen Agency. Today I wanna to chat with you about setting your sales team up for success. Recently, I've had some phone conversations with prospects who are interested in hiring our agency to provide support for them and their sales. And one of the things that has come up during those conversations is that there is a level of displeasure or even in some cases disappointment in the performance of their current sales team or sales team member. And some of the things that have come up have been, you know, they don't sell like me, I have this approach, they have that approach, or I just expected different results or whatever. Sometimes it was a case of, look, cash flow is looking one way and we really need to shift this to another way. And what we have found is a lot of times that business owner then jumps back into the sales process as the salesperson and, and, and it has different impacts. So one, on one hand, it may bring in additional revenue, but on the other hand is now taking that person out of the things that they really needed to be focused on, which, is when, which was the reason why they hired a salesperson in the first place. So that is one of the reasons why we're here. And I also want to just point out and talk about a few of the things to really look at to set your sales team up for success. Because here's the thing. Whether you hire the Doyen agency to support you in sales, or you build your own sales person, your own sales team, or you go with another agency, there are certain things that you have to have in place in order to see and experience success. Um, the first thing is accept the fact that no one, and I mean no one, no matter how good they are, will sell like you. And I know that's a hard pill to swallow. But you as an, a business owner, as an entrepreneur, have to understand that this is your baby in a lot of cases if you're a solopreneur. This is your baby. Your salesperson, no matter how excited they are about the product, no matter how skilled they are as a salesperson, no matter how excited they are about you, they are not you. And they're not going to sell like you. So it's important to accept that and be prepared for that as you transition out of being numero uno in sales. The second thing is, have you discussed your expectations? Does your salesperson have KPIs? Do they know those key performance indicators? Or are they just out here thinking they're doing okay because they don't understand or even know your expectations? Do you even know your expectations? One of the big things I see as an agency founder um, is when a lot of times it's important to set those expectations. So people will come to us and they will want to see results like yesterday. And in some cases, they get that. But in other cases, they don't. So I always talk to people and let them know that it's important to give yourself runway. So don't hire a salesperson or a sales team when you're in the midst of crazy because they are not the savior they're not just come in and save your business if things are going if things are going bad <laughs> if the ship is sinking you probably should not be calling them so you want to look at what's going on in your business right now but also realistically what are your expectations are you expecting someone to come in today and close a million dollars tomorrow like really get clear on what your expectations are but also write those expectations down and share them with your sales team. It's important to do that so that both of you now have something to measure performance by so that person can really know whether or not they're doing a good job. So if they're not up to snuff, guess what? You now have clear indications and documentation around what your expectations were and where they fell short. So if you have to have that uncomfortable conversation around, guess what? We need to part ways. It's not, well, I just kind of felt like you weren't meeting my expectations. Like what? What kind of conversation is that? So you want to understand what are those KPIs and what are your expectations? If you don't have those in place, then work with your team to create them. But still jot down, maybe you pencil some things down and then you guys work together to see, are my expectations realistic? Number three is, have you provided training? Do you have a sales process? 
Do you have SOPs, documentation? Or did this person just walk in and you just threw them into the fire and was like, go sell for me and make magic happen? <laughs> again, you want to set your sales team up for success. And that, again, that doesn't matter whether you build your own sales team or you work with an agency, there needs to be some level of documentation around how you do things in your business. The good thing about an agency is they can help you develop that if you don't have it. But again, it needs to be in place in order for your business to grow. What is the process? What are you selling? What does your onboarding process look like? Who are you selling to? What do these conversations look like? Do you record your sales calls? Like how do you process payments? All of these things are very, very important, and you have to be able to share that information with your sales team in order to set them up for success. You'll be surprised at the number of times I talk to prospects, and they're like, what training? What calls? <laughs> what process? I just go out here, and I just do my thing. That's great as a solopreneur, but as you look to grow your business and your team, you have to get these things out of your head. And trust me, I am preaching to the choir because I am so guilty of this sometimes and I work with my team hard. Like, okay, get with me, get this out of my head. Let's get it documented. Let's get our SLPs in place because I understand that as my team grows, I then become the bottleneck if all the information is in my head and it actually hurts me. And it's kind of counterintuitive to having a team. You hire a team to help and support you, but if you are now the roadblock, it's a problem. So work with your team to get your processes and procedures in place, your training documented and in place so that your, your sales team can come in and hit the ground running a lot faster than having to hunt you down and you make time to be able to train them because technology is your friend. And then finally, another big area where I see an issue when it comes to sales teams and performance is compensation. Are you properly compensating and rewarding your sales team for their efforts and growing your, the revenue in your business. A lot of times, you know, we look at how can we do something based on our cash flow, or I only wanna hire someone if I can get away with it at 100% commission, so I want them to come in and be fired up and go hard and make my business millions of dollars, but I'm not supporting them and I'm also not compensating them. I may not be thanking them or appreciating them or whatever that looks like for that individual is different for everyone. But are you properly compensating your team member? Or do you have these expectations? That they're going to come in and do all of these things for you on behalf of your company and they're not being properly compensated. And now you're disappointed in their performance, their level of commitment, their level of follow through, their level of whatever, right? That level, whatever that angst you have about your salesperson and your sales team is you need to really take a moment to look at that. So what are those things? Because ultimately it goes, always boils back down to you. As the leader of this company, as the leader of the team, how are you communicating these things? And are you setting your team up for success? Because if not, then that may be the very reason why you are now feeling so disappointed and your team is providing dismal results. All right, so I know that was a hard pill to swallow. Trust me, I need to watch this video myself because there are still areas of improvement for me and my sales team. So I am right there with you, but take this to heart because these are the things that I see. These are some of the challenges that we even face when we provide sales support for clients. And I know that it's not always easy, but it is definitely necessary. Feel free for more support and resources around growing your sales team and improving your sales performance at thedoyanagency.com. This is Dr. Nadia signing off. I'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.